The last laptop I owned had a lot of problems browsing websites. Tech support suggested disabling cookies. So, I bit the legs off a gingerbread man. <laughs> you could say this next product is a little dark, but that's mostly because there's no windows. <laughs> Can you guess what today's product is? Keep watching, and we'll let you know. Hi, my name's Gary, and this is my buddy Matt. We're just a couple of gadget nerds who are lucky enough to be invited by Amazon to participate in the very exclusive Vine Voices program. We review all the latest and greatest Amazon products, and when we're done, we give them away free to one lucky subscriber. All you gotta do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and keep an eye out for the secret hashtag hidden somewhere in today's video. You'll need it if you wanna be in the running to win. So, what product are we reviewing today? It's a 14 inch HP Chromebook. It's official, Windows are overrated, and Microsoft Edge tries a little too hard to be relevant these days. Don't even get me started on Apple fanboys. So rather than HP's usual offering of medium-powered home and business laptops with Windows-ready architecture, they've come out with this updated Chromebook for 2021. It's powered by the Chrome operating system, very similar to the Android OS on Samsung Pixel and OnePlus Pro phones. In fact, most Android apps that work on your smartphone will work just fine on the Chromebook. The user experience on this laptop is all centered around the Google suite of products. Chrome for browsing, Google Docs for word processing, Google Sheets for Excel, the list goes on. Access all comes courtesy of a free Gmail account, which gives you 15 gigabytes of free online storage. For those of you who like to know what's under the hood, the HP Chromebook comes with a dual-core Intel processor with up to 2.8 gigahertz frequency, 4 gigabytes of RAM, a tiny 64 gigabyte embedded hard drive, and a 14-inch display putting out a touch above half HD at 1366 by 768 resolution. Connectivity-wise, there's two USB-C ports, one high-powered enough to carry a display signal while charging, an SD card reader as well as your standard USB-A slot, and a headphone slash microphone port. So, what do we like about the 14-inch Chromebook? For beginners, kids, and students, the Chromebook is an awesome little unit. It's cheap, works straight out of the box, and the relatively locked down OS means the dreaded blue screen of death isn't going to be a problem. At only three and a quarter pounds, the Chromebook is super light, and the slim battery is surprisingly still going strong after a full eight hours unplugged. So, what's the downside? Well, if you're tech guys like me and Matt here, the Chromebook does feel a little underpowered. For starters, the 14-inch screen. And 1366 by 768 resolution isn't full HD. In fact, it's only slightly better than 720p. And while that's not going to bother the kids doing their homework, I like my displays and graphics sharp and crisp. Then you have the issue with the OS. Again, great for beginners and kids, maybe even the grandparents. But experienced users will get frustrated at how limited the experience is. In saying that, it looks like Windows apps will be coming to the Chrome OS soon. But until then, it's a PC nerd's nightmare. And finally, let's talk about the hard drive. Now, I know the Chromebook isn't designed to be a laptop full of extra storage. The embedded HDD actually carries the OS and a small buffer. That's it. There's not a whole lot of local storage available, so users are going to have to get used to using Google Drive or other cloud storage services to save their files. So, what's the verdict? For what it's designed for, browsing, light admin, and homework style tasks, it's really solid. The Google suite of products is perfect, and they already work seamlessly together. A few tech limitations will bother some people, 
But if you bought one without doing your research, are you really that much of a tech guru? All up, we give it a rating of four out of five stars. Now, as we do on this channel, it's time to give the HP Chromebook away to one lucky subscriber. To be in the drawing to win this amazing product, the rules, as always, are very simple. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment in this video with the hidden hashtag from today's review. That's it. I hope you were paying attention, but just in case you missed it the first time, you can always go back and watch again. We'll then select someone at random and announce the winner exactly a week from now. Good luck. If you liked what you saw today and you can't wait to see if you've won, we've included our purchase link in the description below. This has been Review to You, where we review and give to you for free. From Matt and Gary, see you guys next time.